Good evening, friends. Let me open us with a quick prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for this day, each lady here, and for your word. Help us to continue learning more about you every day of our lives. In your son's name we pray, amen. Well, first I need to introduce myself. I'm Deborah Dean, the other Zoom core leader. I do the Zoom class because I am the caregiver to my 104-year-old mother who lives with me and my husband. Not having to leave the house on Monday nights makes it possible for me to continue to do CVS, which I love. I also love the Zoom class because my friends and even family can join me on Monday nights from all over the country. Did you know we currently have members in California, DC, Granbury, and Lubbock? So if you know anybody that would like to join the Zoom class, please let Lucia know. We'd love for you to join us. Okay, so, so much for my Zoom promo. Uh, as I prayed about what God wanted me to share with you, my amazing mom kept coming to mind. Maybe God was trying to tell me something. One of the things that defines my mom is that she's always learning. And I know she has tried to instill that same teachable spirit in me. One of the things she has tried to teach me is knitting. My mother has been a lifelong knitter, literally knitting a lot of the clothes that she wore over the years. I can't tell you how many times she has tried to teach me how to knit. I start out strong, but in a few days, I can't remember how to cast on, cast off, or correct a mistake. But every time she patiently reteaches me and encourages me to continue. Time and time again, I have to be retaught the basics. Sound familiar? Well, all throughout this study of the Israelites this year, I don't know about you, but I have rolled my eyes at them because they just seem to be ready to walk and follow God when they forget what they've learned and fall back on their own understanding or the lack thereof. I'm pretty sure that my mom never rolled her eyes at me when I asked to be retaught, just like our Heavenly Father doesn't roll his eyes, thankfully. Uh, I know my mom wants me to have a teachable spirit for knitting, but how much more does God want us to be teachable? I feel like there are three main steps to being teachable. The first is just simply to be willing. Basically, we don't know everything and we're not too old to learn something new. Second, be accepting of direction and or correction. Being directed or corrected means that you're loved. My mom shows me continuous love every time she reteaches me. And God, he demonstrates his love for us when he restores us after we fail. And lastly, share your love of learning. If anyone wants to learn knitting, I know a great teacher. If you want to learn more about God, well, you're in the right place. And maybe invite your friends. Learning new things can stretch us in good ways. Just as my mom has much to teach me about knitting, God has so much more to teach us about this life. He uses people, his word, creation, and life experiences to teach us. So one goal for my life is Proverbs 9.9. Give instruction to a wise man and he will be still wiser. Teach a righteous man and he will increase in learning. Hopefully you will join me in a life of learning with a teachable spirit. Thanks and good night. Oh, let me close this in prayer real quick. Dear Lord, we praise you for your patience and your grace. Please help us to continue to be teachable until we are sitting at your feet in glory. In Jesus' precious and holy name, amen. Good night, guys. See you soon.